Thank you, Caroline. University students have started vacating campuses following the strike by their lecturers now on its sixth day. A spot check by KTN News revealed empty lecture halls even as union officials remained adamant that nothing short of a pay rise in line with the collective bargaining agreement signed in 2015 would motivate them back to the classrooms. Timothy Otiano has the report. And with the powers conferred on me, yes. I want to declare this strike officially launched. Yes. Nearly a week since that statement was issued, its impact continues to be felt in laboratories and lecture halls across Kenyan universities. Deserted rooms welcome you to the University of Nairobi's main campus in Nairobi. The stalemate pitting lecturers, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission and the Ministry of Education has forced many students to vacate campuses as this semester's classes remain cancelled. But for the few who choose to remain, there's nothing really much to do. I'm actually around the lecture halls. I'm only using Wi-Fi around. That's the main thing I'm doing around. I came to school today because I thought I would get any development on the lecturer's strike because my other friends from private universities are now studying, they're now in class. When we say we are withdrawing labor, it is not a discriminate process. When you say you withdraw labor, it is not discriminate, so that you only withdraw it for a particular set of students and then avail the same labor for another particular set of students. No, that's not it. When we say we are withdrawing labor, it's across the board. So the parallel programs are also shut down. The University of Nairobi's Taifa Hall, arguably one of the country's most iconic public lecture halls, is usually a buzz of activity around a time like this. But a long-standing lecturer strike has since rendered this place empty, a situation replicated across 33 public universities in the country. The Dons insist that if their demands are not met, then they are willing to hold out for as long as possible, possibly threatening public learning in all universities across the country. And the lecturers are getting support from the most unlikely of quarters, the very students they have abandoned. They're supposed to be added their salaries so that because mingi, the teachers kutoka once our semester up to the end, so they deserve it. I think they deserve to get their share too because much money is being spent on on, on bad ways. Eh? The Dawn's representatives have over the last two days engaged relevant organs trying to reach an amicable solution to the crisis. The top organ in the talks is the Inter-Public Universities Consultative Forum whose chair yesterday assured the striking Dawn's that their issues would be looked into. You know, a negotiation does not mean one hour, two days, three, four days. I told you January 6th, we are now on the 23rd. In between, Activities have been taking place, and I hope more activities shall take place to finalize the CBA 2013-2017. We had our proposal with the Ministry of Education as far back as 2013. Who has been sitting on it? What has happened to it? Where is the engagement since that time till right now? The lecturers want a pay increment that would have the lowest paid assistant lecturer take home 350,000 shillings. They also want capacity to be built to have an increase in the number of lecturers across all public universities commensurate to the number of students available. The strike approaching the end of its first week has affected more than 500,000 students across public universities, even as the dons remain adamant that they will return to class only after a comprehensive collective bargaining agreement has been negotiated. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.